Hello, welcome back to Tank Talks. We're here today at the Marina Bay Sands uh, in Singapore and we are at the we're going to visit the Aquatic and Garden Asia Show 2023. Um, there's going to be a big, huge convention hall. There's going to be freshwater stuff, uh, saltwater stuff, plants even. So we're going to take a look around and uh, maybe see some familiar faces that I know from uh, LFSs here and uh, other hobbies and we'll probably try and talk to them. So let's check it out. You guys can see, but a couple of guys here have some birds and parrots with them. I have a lot of birds at home, but I don't know how they're gonna get out of this with their shirt clean. I don't. Uh, there's quite a queue already. I think it's only three dollars per entry. If you're wondering, I think hopefully by the time this is out, I don't think it'll be all around. But maybe for future reference. Legit. Hello. Oh, thanks. Okay, we made it to the floor. So uh, this is the map of what's going on. So these are the planted areas here and here. Apparently here is like international plants. And this entire blue area is all aquatic stuff. So um, so we're going to hear about aquatic stuff. So let's go. Okay, we are here at some of the booths here at um, the show. And I think there are a lot of uh, LFS that have decided to set up shop here. So we'll try to take a look at a few of them. Uh, let's go. Okay, hello. We have a uh, pal here. So, come, what's your name, brother, and your shop? Hi, my name is Asri. I'm from Aquarium Hub by the Reefer. Yeah. So, this is our booth at uh, Booth 78. So, do come visit us in uh, MBS. Um, I can show you around. Yeah? Sure. Okay, let's do it. I don't know if the video will be out before the weekend is out, but let's take a look. Nice display. There's a tank just showing you how the wave makers work. I think if you've seen most videos, you kind of see how the, the water works. So we have, I think, an MP60 over there, which is ginormous. So you can see the, how much is swinging the tank around. And I think they have the Nero's 3, 5, and 7 over there. The 7's a new one. I think it's about as strong as the MP40. Um, I did consider buying it. And the cool thing is that it works with the Mobius app. So um, this, this, uh, this booth has all the stuff here. There's like you have the entire Apex ecosystem here. You have all the the, the, the Hydra stuff, the Hydra lights, the blades, the, the Neros, and of course, they also have the Ecotech stuff, the Radions, the Vectras, and your dosing pumps and all that kind of good stuff here. So, uh, if you're in, it's a good place to pick stuff up. I think uh, the Reef Depot is where, where you can get it up some form if you're in Singapore, so do check it out. So, uh, this is uh, ABBA, Abing Aquarium. We've visited them before in another video, um, but here they also have a booth here. and. Um, they are probably have all the marine fish here. I don't think any of the other shops did bring marine fish, but they have more corals, but let's uh, check out some of the fish they have. My favorite fish, one of my favorite fish, the Harlequin Tusk or the orange spotted fowl fish. You may remember it from uh, one of my earlier videos with the Nano, but the interrupters has since killed it, so. This is where the uh, clownfish competition is happening. Uh, it's like cat different categories. I don't know how this works. Hopefully, you can find someone to explain this to us. Okay, so we spoke to some of the organizers here on how they judge them. And based, it's, uh, based on uh, how what the, there's a different hue to it, uh, the size, and, and they have different categories. Like there's snowflakes, Picasso, they have their own category, and then there's like an open category. And then, uh, it sounds quite, quite intense and quite open. Uh, I think they said they're probably going to do a, a bigger kind of a event next year. So. Um, this is like kind of them testing the waters and figuring it out. I think they've done a pretty good job so far. And there seems to be you know, quite a good amount of entries here. So, um, we'll check back next year. But I guess if you want to send in your clownfish to be judged and get a nice trophy, <laughs> something to look at. So here, a good friend, Solomon. He, I didn't know he entered the competition for one of these uh, tanks. So I think there are seven of them here. I think they got, they got I think it was one first top three, right? Top three prizes? Yeah, top three okay. prizes. What do you win? Uh? Nothing. No, no, what do you win if you would win? Oh, uh, first place is 2,000, second place is 1,000, and third is 500. And what was the entry fee? 150. So anyway, this is his tank. There are a lot of torches. Why don't you run us through your top process here? And, uh, what uh, you think so basically, I was thinking of doing a nice natural floating aquascape, trying to resemble like those broken off chunks of uh, rock. So yeah, yeah those off hangs. 
So I was trying to replicate with uh, this branching area here and the arches, as well as enough space for fish to like free swim. Okay. I do have a couple of fishes inside, but they're kind of stressed. So they're all hiding at what the back. What do you have inside? Uh, I've got five blue-eyed antiers, and I also have a purple tank. Purple tank? Okay, okay. Yeah, nice purple tank at the back. Couple of clowns. Yep. So, uh, okay. So, was it worth the effort? Do you have fun doing it? Like It was a good experience. Yeah, it was. It was. I always wanted to try. I just never, I just never did it. I just never... I mean, it's always interesting to see what other people come up with as well. That's true. Yeah, I mean, everyone has their own uh, their own beliefs when it comes to reskate. So like, it's good to see like other people's imaginative, like okay. their creativity. Okay, okay. Maybe next year like, we do one. Do you know what I do one? Okay, yeah, sure. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. No problem. Cheers. Okay. Oh. So this is the winner of the competition. Uh, I don't think he's here. I don't know who he is. If you know, if you have, identify yourself in the comments if you see this by any chance. Um, I think a really cool thing they have here is that the mirror at the back. So it makes it look way bigger than it's supposed to be. And it has a... So instead of a four bunga, you have eight. Because it, it just gives that effect. And it gives it... It's a really small tank, guys. I think this is 12 gallons, maybe. I don't know. But it does look very impressive. There's a nice depth there. You can see things going all the way back. But the glass really makes a difference, especially if you compare it with some of the other shots we're going to show you where the rest of the tanks have a black background. Um, this one really, really stands out. Just a simple, simply by adding the mirror. I don't know how much of a long-term solution that is, uh, but I think using the right adhesive and stuff, I don't think it's any, any issue, but very cool idea. So this is a paludarium they set up. Paludarium is a vivarium with like a water area at the bottom. So you can see the fish here, and it's all like actual live plants. Then it's like a very powered by a misting system up there. Um, it's a very interesting kind of look and uh, imagine a nice posh house, I think it looks pretty good. So uh, we're, we're here, some pretty cool looking vivariums and terrariums. Uh, so fun fact for our overseas um, audience, uh, Singapore doesn't really allow captive, uh, the keeping of most exotic pets. We can have some exceptions, I'm gonna read their slider th th uh, terrapins, you can have, I think white tree frogs and uh, some of these guys, but snakes, uh, chameleons in general, uh, we can't really do that. But once in the States, I did keep a lot of that and I did like doing a lot of the terrarium stuff. Oh yeah, I used to keep dart frogs as well, but you can't do that in here. So I think uh, we found a, uh, a booth here that's for parrots. It's called Wings of Parrots. Uh, I, I follow them as well. Um, I do have some parrots at home. We should probably introduce to you, to, to you guys. Uh, so there are a bunch of macaws here, little corneas, and they are loud, but um, so adorable. Let's take a look. So we have a very good looking bird over here. He's the black palm cockatoo. You can look at his uh, very nice hairstyle and a very scary looking bee. Uh, I have a small cockatoo at home, but this is probably three times the size. It's definitely very intimidating, but he looks kind of friendly. I'm not going to touch him. <laughs> This is how small this is. This is my face. My face is larger than this thing. It's a Dimex IQ3. That's insane. So there are a lot of competitions and a lot of like, little, like trophies and plaques you see around here. So they're mostly for goldfish, discus, arowana, koi. I think we saw chana as well. I'm not sure if uh, that's, that's... Oh, shrimp. Shrimp. And um, aquascaping prizes, it's all very, very price centric and I think everyone's uh, kind of having fun with that, right? We've had a, we've had a long kind of walk around here, so a lot more, there's not, the reef stuff is not that big here in Singapore, I think it's a, a lot of more freshwater stuff. There's a lot of <laughs> competitions for goldfish, koi, arowana and all that kind of good stuff, discus. So we'll, we'll just kind of take you around and show you the rest of the things, but uh, just, uh, just enjoy the sights and sounds like we have. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.